So I want to now go through how to use the CLI to import this data that we have in our Google Cloud bucket into BigQuery. So this, if you recall, this is the bucket here on the right hand side on this tab inside here we have these two files, the JSON file and the CSV file. JSON and CSV here. So there are some instructions here that I can use and I will post these as well, I'll post a link to them so you can just get to this um, the set of text and then you can just copy and paste. So from here, what we need is another window here, which is our cloud uh, Google Cloud SDK shell. So we've opened that here in yellow and this is my text file and this is my web interface. So if I go over from my web, web interface from the buckets over to BigQuery in GCP, what I see is I have this um, project and then inside this project I have this data set. Then inside this data set I have these two tables that I imported using the Google, the GUI before, the um, graphical user interface. But now what I want to do is I want to use the, um, the CLI instead. So I am going to just, um, just refresh this just to make sure that there's nothing else in here. And this I found is really the best way to just refresh everything here then it's just these two things here. So to come into here where I need to go to is I need to have a folder where I have the um, the schema. So I just have to make sure that I had this schema and you might remember this schema. What it is is just the JSON schema here. So that was from last time as well but I have to be inside this folder here. So I'm going to just um, change directory over to this folder here. And that's what I do here on this first instruction here. So cd to this place here. That's where I have the, <coughs> the JSON file that has the schema. So I'm just going to paste that in there and then I've changed the directory while I'm in the GCP SDK shell. And so while I'm here, I have this path, I'm in this path. What I need is this instruction here to first create the schema, first create the table. So according to that schema, which is in this file, the schema is in this file, which is in this directory that you just saw. And then this is what it's going to be called. This is the data set here. And this is what the table for the JSON version is going to be called. So I just copy this line from up to here. I don't want to copy this part because that's just the prompt. So I'll copy that, control C, and then go into this window, control V. Then I press enter. So now that I successfully created the table so let's go and check that. So we come in here and I will just refresh this like so. Then I will expand here, expand this, and then you see it's created the table. But the table now is blank. So if I preview it, this table is empty here. You see. So then I want to come into this bit here. This is the next instruction here is to load the JSON data. So this is one, what I'm going to do. I'm inside this prompt already. So here is the part of the instruction that I need. So if I copy all of this first and then we'll just go through what it all means. So if I copy that and then just put that now into the shell window, what is it saying? It's BQ load. That's the BigQuery load command that I can use now because I've installed the SDK. Then there's all this, the format, which is going to be a JSON. So it's a JSON format. And then this is the data set. 
this is the table that I want it to go into and this is where it's going to get the data from so it's going to get it from my bucket which is called this name here and then it's going to <clears throat> get it from this file inside the bucket so that's this one here so if I come back here and then I just highlight this window and then I press enter then that runs for a few seconds and then it's done so now we can come back into the GUI and just refresh this let's refresh this then come in here and let's see what data we have inside here open this and then preview and then now we have these five rows of data that we had inside the file inside the bucket so that's what we've done we've imported that file into this table that we just created that's the JSON version so now let's do the CSV version so we come in here it's the same thing so what we do is we, we're I'm already in this directory now so I don't have to CD over to that one but the instruction is going to be very similar here to create this table here so actually let me just move this over here and then you can see I'm copying from here oops let's do that again from this side then from here to here this is um, making the schema let's just paste that in and have a look BQ using that JSON schema again make this table so both times really have to use the JSON schema and then this is going to be the data set here just at the end here from data underscore set and then dot and then after this is the flights CLI CSV that's the table part so I'm just going to make another table here so let me press enter okay that's successfully created this so on the GUI let's have a look by refreshing and see if it's created the new table under the set, data set so here's the data set then here is the new table so let's what's in the table let's see what's in the table the table here and preview and it's an empty table so that's what we expect because we haven't loaded any data into it yet so this is the final thing that we're going to do here which is using this command so I'm going to copy the whole of this command and then paste it into here then you'll see what it is it is going into this data set here this table here ending with CSV this time and from this bucket here and inside that bucket this file the dash C dot CSV version so that's the file that we want which is this one here from the bucket that's what it's going to take and then so we'll come back into this window and I hit enter and it will go away and do it for a couple of seconds then come back saying that it's done then if I come back here into the GUI I can just refresh this then have a look here go down and then into this data open it and then preview it and then now this time I see that the my five rows of data is here now so that's how you use the CLI to import into BigQuery thank you very much for watching